The Russell Hill Retirement Residence is pleased to present In Conversation with film producer and director Barbara Willis-Sweet and Mrs. Rosabelle Levitt. So, um, I just want to um, share with you and with Rosabelle kind of my first encounter with Rosabelle, which was probably 15 years ago. And I, I, I work in the, in the film business and I specialize in films related to performing arts, primarily classical music actually. And <clears throat> some of the films I do are a little bit obscure, they're for arty types, and um, they don't always get put on at the most um, prime times, but um, we, my co with my company, Rhombus, we've done dozens and dozens and dozens of films with great classical artists like Seiji Ozawa and Yo-Yo Ma, I've done eight films with Yo-Yo Ma. When I get mail about my films, it, it does make an impact on me. And the most impact that I ever had was a letter that I received from a person I didn't know. It was a handwritten card about 15 years ago from handwritten, handwritten card with the most, the most intelligent, intelligently written compliments about a film that I did <clears throat> in Tanglewood with Seiji Ozawa in the late 90s. Now you can explain how it is that we're, we met for the first time two days ago. We had this competition, a competition, and um, I was able to uh, fortunately win it, and uh, I named you to be the, the person I wanted most to be, and, <laughs> and then here we are here, and, and you walked into the, into the lobby, and we fell on one another as well, like <laughs> old friends. <laughs> It's true. Well, that, yes, that was sent out as a live transmission from the Metropolitan Opera. La Boheme last year, I did, I did La Boheme last year, and it reached a new record audience. In one performance, it reached 350,000 people around the world. Around the world. In one performance, in that moment. I'm really interested to know how you got such a, a wonderful knowledge and sensitivity to music. How did that happen? My parents. My parents, um, my pa both parents loved music. My mother loved to sing. Um, every Saturday we listened to the, uh, to the opera on the radio, and every Sunday to the New York Philharmonic. When did you first, when do you first remember loving classical music? When I was standing at the bar. Not that kind of a bar, but <laughs> <laughs> with a gin and tonic. <laughs> doing doing uh, my leg up, and then and this that way. Did you ever consider going into a career of music? Well, I took piano lessons, and I was very bad, <laughs> very bad. I used to sing in, in, in the choir <laughs> at... Um, in high school, and we had we had a music teacher who I hated. So when we <laughs> we sang, I was always the one that sang off key, and she didn't know where it came from. And now I'm in in retirement. I don't have to cook a meal. I don't have to make a bed. I don't have to do the laundry. You know how bad can that be? Plus, you go to all the ballets, you go to all the operas, and all the symphony I concerts. Do. I right? get I get out I get out a great deal. I think this is the beginning of a new chapter for both of us where we're going to see each other regularly. I'm going to take you to concerts. <laughs> and I'm going to, I'm going to invite to you to dinner. my house. Yes. Where do you live? Cabbage Town. In, a, in an old, old uh, house that used to be a carriage house. Well, my, my brother-in-law used to call it Garbage Town. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to prove to you that it's no longer Garbage Town. <laughs> Because they were they were looking to they were looking to buy a house, and he said we're not going to look in garbage town. Anyway, it was it, it's been wonderful to meet you, and we'll we'll this is not over. No, this is beginning. That's right. 